Good evening, this is the News at Six. I'm Aaron Rodgers. In this special edition of Newsweek, we'll be investigating the thoughts of British foreign nationals on British culture. I take you now live to our reporter, Codgerman, who is on the case. Hi, my name is Scott Chimon Gemma, and I'm going to ask you about how weird English people are. And um, can you, like, introduce yourself first? Millie. Hi, Rob. Okay, the first question I'm going to ask you, why they put milk in tea? <laughs> it's weird, like... <laughs> it um, tastes really nice. In Portugal, nice. Spanish, um, Thailand, China, Korean, Japan... They you should put start doing it. <laughs> It's different. It's different in different countries, though. Put the tea bag, then the then the uh, water, then the milk. No, no, no. It's just, just how it is. Yeah. But do you know why people put them in? Then no, you no. gotta get the biscuits. I was born with the it. Biscuits. Born with the biscuits. The biscuits. Uh, hi, I'm Jen. I'm from Bristol, originally, I guess. Uh, I'm Sam. I'm also from Bristol, England. Bristol. Why they put milk in a tea? Like English people always put milk in a tea. What do you mean? In England, do it. Yeah, I think because in, in England we put biscuits in our tea, and it just makes it easier. So it like when you dip the biscuit in the tea, you don't want it to just be water and tea bag. I guess we just love our milk. Yeah. Never. I don't really know. All the my logical response though probably would be that milk has sugar in it. And, Brit and people in Britain tend to like sugar, and I love sugar. What is Yorkshire pudding? Like, last time <gasps> I went into town, oh. people have a go at me. Do you not know what it is? No. To be honest, I didn't... It's like a batter. I don't even know what it is, but to be in honest. in a shape of like a... <laughs> like, I just eat it. You have it on you, like... In a bowl. But not in a bowl. It's food. But what's it made of? Batter. It's nice, it's really it's, good. It's really nice, it's you really should good. try it one Don't time. try it when it's burnt because it's disgusting. Oh, why, no, yeah. oh, why English people make a big deal about it if you don't know what Yorkshire pudding is? I don't make a big deal of it. I mean, if I don't have Oh, I make a dick about it. Yeah, yeah, if it's not in my roast dinner, I'm like, well, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Like, what? English were very fond, were very, very proud of their roast meat dinners, which is uh, a thing that they got into in the 18th century, when we could afford to eat loads of meat. So that when, when countries become rich, they start, they'd go, look, I can eat meat. People used to spend like a third of their income on, on eating meat. They, in fact, they paid, they, pay, they paid more for the meat on the table than they paid for the servants that worked in the shop, in the, uh, in the kitchen to produce it. Very expensive. And to make it go further, they made these batter puddings, which is a mixture of eggs, flour, and milk. And if you were a bit poor, you would, you'd have your Yorkshire pudding, before you had your meat, so you'd eat less meat and it would cost less. What is raining cats and dogs? It's when it's raining a lot, like a lot of rain, really heavy. Why did you call it cats and dogs? I have no idea, darling. Well, it's, not, it's just an old expression. We just don't like our rain over here, so I mean, just to emphasise, cats, exactly. dogs, raining down, it's even worse, isn't it? Don't like rain. The English expressions that probably is a quote, it's, it, it might well be Shakespeare, and it just people slip into slip into the conversation. It just becomes a well-known phrase. There's lots of phrases like in other in other languages as well, but it just means big drops, basically, you know, large. It could be cows and sheep. It could be anything big. You know, but. Why the day after Christmas call Boxing Day? Because you pack up a nut. No, you pack the tree away. No, you don't do that. So but just like the day you, after Christmas. Yeah, Everyone's just the day like, after Christmas. Everyone's yeah. like hungover. You pack all like, your presents away. People used to uh, give the food out to the poor the day after. After Christmas. Uh, I don't know, I think it's just part of the British slang. Yeah. I'm not really sure. Like, other country, we thought like um, tea time is mean like morning time or lunch time, but we didn't expect it to be dinner time. Maybe we have tea with our dinner, I don't, but maybe that's where it's coming from. I don't know. Tea with tea. Well, I couldn't say I haven't done that before. No, I haven't. Yeah. I don't know. What? I don't know. Like, you know when you have, like, six o'clock dinner, like, but yeah. like, people call it tea? Like, tea time. Know. Like, tea time. Like, yeah, I like call tea. It tea. But yeah, then, then some I call, people call like, it dinner. My, but then I call my like, 12 o'clock, like, lunch dinner. Yeah, I call that dinner, but then, then some people call tea dinner. 
Because know. sometimes um, other people from other country thought tea time is like lunch time or in tea the morning. Tea time is lunch time. <laughs> That's what we thought. Uh, tea time is end of day. Yeah. But why do you call it tea time? Just is tea time. That was really like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we English people are. <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is Coach Monjam Lam from Thailand. And my name is Phil Wuchemen and I'm from Portugal. So today we're going to speak about like how English people can be weird. So one of the questions that we asked the people, it was why they put milk in the tea. So like we ask people why they put milk in the tea, but they don't even know why. Many countries that? of the Europe don't put milk in the tea. My country don't put milk in the My tea. country doesn't, doesn't put milk in the tea as well. Because like, if you put milk in the tea, then it would taste horrible. It would taste like milky, a bit creamy. It would taste like disgusting, to be honest. So the next question that we asked to the people, it was why the day after Christmas is called Boxing Day. Many people don't know the why, the motif. So they just go for the name. It's like the people put everything in the box and it's all. It's like to finish the Christmas. I don't even know why they call Boxing Day. Weird, right? Like, <laughs> um, so the next question is why people call raining raining dog and cats, is that cats right? Yeah. Dogs, yeah, yeah, cats and dog or dog and cats, yeah. So, what's it about? I don't even understand. Why would they call raining, like heavy rain, it's a dogs and cats? I think it's to express big mouths. They could have just, they could have just like, um, compared with, it with something else instead of cats and dog. Yeah, it's weird. So now we're going to talk about um, why English people making a big deal about Yorkshire pudding. So, like, it is um, something that is popular for British people on Sunday because, like, when you go to a pub or some restaurant, you get um, a menu called was it? Well, it's not a menu. It's um. I don't know. It's like it's when you ha don't have many money for the meat, they give you that. Or you don't eat more meat? Too much meat? Um, no, we it's... We don't know because many people can answer to this question. My country doesn't have that, so I'm not really know uh, what it is. And yeah, people making a big deal if you don't know what it is. So the last question is why we have... Um, Huh, why the dinner is called tea and we have also a drink called tea? And Many people don't know how to answer yes, this question. Because um, for me and other people in my country, we thought tea time is mean like morning time or yeah, like lunch, lunch time. time. Yeah, but we didn't expect it to be like afternoon or dinner. So, time of tea and people like use to dinner. It's weird. Exactly, it's weird. And you have also a drink or a tea, so we don't have the answer to this question. I'm gonna skip this one because English people is weird. Yes, it is.